Hello, it's Mrs. Montanino here, or as many of you call me, Mrs. Jennifer. I am here to do an art therapy activity with you. I am hoping that you, as well as any of your family members that would also like to participate, will join me in this activity. We are going to be making a mandala. A mandala is a circle and it's a design that holds symbolism. So the symbolism is inside of the circle, like on the paper here. I used a bowl to trace a circle onto the paper. You can use any household item that you can find or in your activity packet that I mailed home to you. I did put an example of a mandala in the packet, um, but we're going to be making our own. So any circular object that you want to trace will work out just fine. I'm using pastels for my mandala, but you can use any art medium you choose. Whatever you have at home, whether it's pencil, markers, colored pencils, paint, uh, sketch pencils, crayons, oil pastels, any of those will work just fine. So what I want you to do is think about how you are feeling right now. Sometimes it's difficult to know how we feel and maybe we're feeling three or four different feelings, but just at the top of your head, if you could just think about maybe three feelings you've been experiencing this week and what colors would you use to express those feelings. I'd like you to make designs in your mandala using lines, shapes, and colors, and try to think about at least three different feelings you're exper experiencing right now. So I'm gonna get started on mine. I like to draw circles inside my circle, but you can do however you want yours. You can do it however you would like to. I know things have been very difficult lately. It's hard being at home and not being able to do all the activities that we're used to doing. It's difficult not being in school and seeing our friends and coworkers and everybody and just kind of being closed up at home. So I'm hoping that doing some art will make you feel a little bit better and give you something to do with helping with the boredom of just not really knowing what to do with your time. I'm trying to think about how I've been feeling lately. Um, I know I've had a mixture of feelings. There's been some things that I've been happy about, like being able to spend time at home with my husband and my pets and kind of doing things that I haven't had time to do catching up with some friends by talking with them on the phone um, but it's also been hard the unknown of what's really going on right now in the world and not sure what's going to happen with things and with all of our stores and places that we normally can go to being closed right now it's been pretty confusing and pretty overwhelming even going into Wegmans, grocery stores, it just feels difficult not being able to get the things we're usually able to get. Hopefully everybody has everything they need at home. I know that's been very stressful, so I understand it's been difficult right now. So we got to find ways to just sort of stay comfortable and calm do things that we enjoy and try to relax a little bit. Right now I'm still using my pastels. I usually choose to work with pastels because I like that they're blendable and I can kind of smudge some of it with my finger and blend the colors. Some people don't like to use pastels because they're a little too messy but there's other materials you can try that aren't as messy, like if you use markers or colored pencils, you know, they're much neater. And they won't mess up your hands as bad. I'm also trying to think about the colors I'm using and what the colors represent. And everybody may have a different interpretation of what 
the color means to them and that's that's okay too I'm hoping that some of you will share your mandalas with me I know in the packet I sent out I included my email so if anybody would like to share how yours turned out I'd be very happy to hear from you and see how your mandala looks and what materials you used and what design you came up with I know we sure are doing things different right now it's different trying to learn online and hear from your teachers and other workers from school not being able to see them but kind of getting online videos and information and packets to do it's definitely a different way of doing things that we're all getting used to together well, I have kind of a variety of shapes on my mandala here I know this shape kind of looks like a leaf which could be because I do like to garden and work outside and maybe I'm thinking about that a little bit with spring coming and giving me some hope here I think that's why I end up with a lot of sort of types of shapes that resemble flowers and leaves. I also like to use a lot of color in my mandala. I've always liked bright colors in my artwork. But right now I'm using some black, which could represent kind of that uncertainty that's going on right now and feeling concerned about what's been going on in the world and Hoping everybody's okay. Sometimes it'll just come to you as you go when you're working on your mandala. You'll think about your design and other images will kind of pop in your head of what you can add to it. I know I like to work on mine section by section and kind of carry some different colors and design through the mandala. Whatever works for you. There's no right or wrong way of doing it and it's definitely not going to be something that's judged or graded. It's just something for you to do to relax and just help you to feel calm and comfortable. No one's judging your art ability here. We're just doing this for relaxation and comfort. If you're struggling with coming up with a pattern Think about shapes that you like and colors that you like and incorporate that into your artwork. Images that you like, anything like that would be fine. And then sometimes after you think it's completed, you can go back and add some extra shapes or designs on top of what you already made. So if you want to darken any areas just to make your artwork look more interesting or add some extra shapes on the top of it, that will work too. Again, you can use any kind of medium you will would like to use for this activity. Okay, and I think this just about wraps up my mandala. 
In conclusion, I would like to talk to you about your mandala that you made. First of all, I would like to ask, how did you feel making the mandala? I know for me, it made me feel a little more relaxed and comfortable just doing something that I enjoy. Um, what three feelings did you get while you were making your mandala? I know I kind of felt three different feelings with mine. Um, if I look at it, there's some black, which I think is me feeling worried about people right now and hoping everybody has what they need. I also have some yellow for the sunshine of how people are pulling together to help each other. And the kind of the blue and purple seems to represent the peacefulness, the feeling calm. Um, I know a lot of people have really been trying to come up with ideas of fun things to do at home and things that we enjoy. Um, I also would like to know how the colors made you feel when you look at your mandala. Um, the same with the images that you drew, the shapes, the textures, however you designed your mandala. When you look at it, how did it make you feel? And how are you feeling right now? So those are just some questions that you can ask yourself and maybe talk to other family members in your home about how they are feeling. Um, and maybe they'll even do a mandala with you. Well, thank you for doing art with me and hopefully I will post another video soon with another art activity.